You're watching BBN Tonight on your official UK sports station, LEX 18. Welcome back to BBN Tonight. Kentucky football looks to keep that winning streak going in more ways than one tomorrow. Yeah, let's check in with Jeremy Jarman of the UK Sports Network. And Jeremy, first of all, hope you're doing well. Um, second of all, we talked about this defense last week after coming off that six interception game. They start out last week then with two pick sixes. Uh, could you have even seen that coming? Look, what the football, uh, what the defense is doing right now, we haven't seen that level of defense in the program in over 40 years. Uh, 10, 10 turnovers uh, uh, over the past couple weeks, uh, two pick sixes. What else can we ask them to do? Well, we're going to have to ask someone to do something this weekend because Quentin Bohanna is out. Mm. Last week, you took us through everything that he was doing to help lead to those interceptions. And, and now we've got to have a backup in place. No, you're absolutely right. So when you look at uh, when you look at losing him and, and that leadership, it's going to be an opportunity for uh, our nose tackles, Marquand McCall, to step up and really uh, elevate his play. Uh, also, freshman Justin Rogers, former five-star uh, high school defensive lineman, we're going to see him uh, step in and take take up some of those much-needed reps, but. Yeah, I mean, when you just look over the last the last two weeks, what the defense has done, uh, the interceptions, uh, getting the ball uh, when it's on the ground, the open field tackles, guys, I mean, just absolutely amazing. And they're having fun out there. And I think that that's one of the things that really stands out uh, when when you look at uh, <laughs> when you look at our guy, uh, Jamin Davis, uh, 85 yards and it looked like that monkey just jumped on his back and tried to tackle him like it did uh the quarterback for the giants uh the uh <laughs> thursday night but uh he fought it off and was able to do a front flip into the end zone and i mean the guy they're having fun out there uh they're playing confident uh when you look at what uh coach stoop said he kind of alluded to simplifying some things for these guys on the defensive end that shows they're playing so fast over these last two wins uh, we just got to keep it going. Uh, along those lines of having fun with it, I, I heard uh, Jordan Wright earlier this week saying, you know, he was asked, who's going to have more interceptions? Is it going to be the defensive backs or is it going to be the linebackers, the defensive line? And, and they've got this friendly competition going now, and he says it's going to be the linebackers. Yeah, absolutely. And, and you want to see those things. But when you look at Kelvin Joseph, our guy boss man, uh, <laughs> man, uh, he, he dubbed it on the back end a no-fly zone. Uh, he, he's given the defensive back that, that title. Uh, obviously, he's a guy that's, uh, you know, he likes to talk, but I tell you what, over the last couple of weeks, he has been fun watching him elevate that play. Uh, and that's what we're talking about. Those guys going out there and they're competing against each other while they're competing against the opponent. And that's when you know guys are really having fun and they're really confident in the play scheme, the play calls. Uh, they understand what's going on. That interception by him, that wasn't an accident. He read that, he drove on that ball. And then the next quarter, you look, he almost had another one. He had a jump on another one that he, it was a PBR. I mean, he was a step away from a second pick six. Joseph, is he's starting to get into a zone. And uh, just collectively, it's really fun watching that group. A no-fly zone. Listen, Connor Bazelak's going to throw it around tomorrow, so they're going to have an opportunity to get some more. What are your keys to this game, though, Jeremy? Yeah, so absolutely. Let's, uh, let's get to those. So, you know, obviously – I, I want to see uh, the defense force a couple more turnovers. Let's keep climbing there. Uh, we're number two in the country in, uh, in interceptions. Uh, look at the, the tackles for loss. I'd like to see three from that nose tackle position. And what that'll show is, that'll show that Marquand McCall and Justin Rogers, that they're absolutely competing and, uh, and, and trying to make up for the loss of our, one of our leaders there in, in Quinn uh, Bohanna. Uh, continue to win that time of possession battle. We're in the top. We're in the top half uh, of the league in that battle. And I'd like to see us balance the offense out, uh, passing, running. Let's get 200 plus in both of those categories. And I think that they're both absolutely doable. Uh, and, and and that's what I'd like to see. But you mentioned Connor Basilac. Uh, Connor, fantastic football player, guys. Elite 11 finalist. Uh, he's targeted 16 different receivers this year. He plays to me like a quarterback that's confident uh, and, and, and his ability. Uh, and he wants to show that he can throw the football around and that he can lead uh, his team to another uh, another victory against our defense like he did two weeks ago 
uh, with LSU where he threw for over 400 yards and four touchdowns. So we better be ready. And that no-fly zone, they better hold up their end of the bargain this week. <laughs> All right. Thanks, Jeremy. We'll catch up with you next week. Have a good one. Y'all too. We'll be right back.